so now yes class 9 as you know that on that day what we have started with we have started with the chapter the beggar okay so the beggar here is the main character of the story and here in this we are going to know that how there occurred a change in a beggar so on the first day when he was sit standing in the city square he was begging okay so whom he met he met sarji an advocate and when his eyes fell over his first of all what were the excuses made by this beggar this beggar made an excuse that he was a school teacher but he has some you can say intrigues against him and he fell a victim to this so now there is a position vacant in kaluga and he has to go there now but as he was obliged by his circumstances he did not have enough money so he, what he was he was forced to beg so but at that moment sarji thought that i definitely i have definitely met that person but where he was not getting an idea he was not remembering then when his eyes fell over his overshoes one of which was higher and another lower he thought that the other day this man he met him and what he was telling that he was he has met this man in savodhya street and in that place what excuse was made by that person was it was that that he was a college student expelled from the college now he felt quite disgusting upon hearing this he said that this is really disgusting on his part that he is making these kind of excuses silly excuses so he had no pity for that man so here we are going to start with this you can say next page page number 63 in your books otherwise the chapter is also displayed on your screen so here it is this is dishonesty my dear sir he cried angrily this is swindling swindling means cheating what is the meaning of swindling swindling means cheating cheating so what he said he said sir this is actually cheating this is dishonesty i shall send the police to you damn you now sarji got annoyed of this he said this is really annoyed now i will definitely send the police to catch you okay because you are telling lies to people and cheating in this manner now he got afraid he said sir he was laying his hand on his heart the fact is i was lying i am neither a student nor a school teacher now you know that when the culprit is caught red handed or when the you can say when the reality comes into light of a person he tries to hide his fault similarly he is also trying to hide his fault he put his hand on his heart like that he said yes sir i admit that i am not a student nor i am a school teacher all that was fiction all these were what these were stories comedy i sang in a russian choir and was sent away for drunkenness no he is telling reality he said sir actually let me tell you the reality that i was a part of russian choir means band there i was singing but as i was drunk i was shown out of the choir but what else can i do i can't get along without lying he said i don't have any option i can't get along means i can't live without lying because no one will give me anything when i tell the truth what can i do sir please tell me if i tell the people this reality that i was a drunkard for which i was expelled of the choir then nobody would believe me and nobody would have pity over me to give me money so this is the reason why i'm telling these lies what can you do now sarji thought that he can get this man right on the track being a charitable being of charitable nature he said okay tell me what you can do you ask what you can do cried sarji now he said now tell me what you can do coming close to him work that's what you that's what you can do 
you must work he said at least work you can do and this is the thing that you have to do but was he ready to do the work see work yes i know that myself but where can i find work he said yes work okay like a stupid person he said yes work yes work i can do but the thing is where i can find work again this is a problem how would you like to chop wood for me sarji said okay work if you want you can come to my house and chop wood for me now can you do this work beggar said i wouldn't refuse to do that but in these days even skilled woodcutters find themselves sitting without bread without bread means without any earning without any food he said i'm not refusing to do this kind of work but actually what is that these days i have also found even skilled woodcutters they are not getting work and they are sitting without bread will you come and chop wood for me now again sarji was stuck on a point he said would you come and chop wood for me yes sir i will he said yes sir i will very well we will soon find out he said okay fine we will soon find out this now sarji hasten hasten means hurriedly moved what is the meaning of hasten hurriedly moved so when you read the chapter na try to inculcate and imbibe these words into your vocabulary book okay hurriedly moved so in spite of writing hurriedly moved you can use he hasten towards what okay so he hasten just a moment he hasten along rubbing his hands he called his cook out of the kitchen so he has hurriedly moved he rubbing in his hands because it was entirely cold and he called his cook out of the kitchen here olga take this gentleman into the wood shed and let him chop wood he said olga this is a new person uh, take him to the wood shed and he will chop wood for us now scarecrow of a beggar what is scarecrow yes what is scarecrow raise up your hands what is scarecrow yes what is scarecrow a non living human like structure placed in the fields uh, yes. which acts as a barrier for uh, yes. preventing so any type of structure made up of you can say waste things like sticks and old clothes it is put in a farm or in the uh, you can say in the fields to drive away the birds from harming the plant so he was like that of a scarecrow scarecrow means without any you can say without any flesh on his body it shows his you can say <coughs> situation that he is not getting ample food moreover he is also not eating enough food so he is not so healthy right so the scarecrow of a beggar he shrugged his shoulders as if in perplexity means confusion and went irresolutely irresolutely means means without any firm decision he went after the cook he was not ready to do the work so he shrugged his shoulders okay shrug means when you raise up your shoulders in this manner he went and in confusion he went irresolutely after the cook it was obvious from his gait gait here is walk gait here is way of walking the walk he was following it was clear from his gait that he had not consented to go and chop wood because he was hungry and wanted work but simply from pride and shame and because he had been trapped by his own words so now here an important you can say indication is made towards his behavior that the way he was moving behind olga this has clearly shown that that he was not ready to do the work why he was not ready to do the work it was just because not that he was hungry and wanted work but the thing is that he was feeling ashamed to do this menial work menial means of lower order he thought that it is of course disdainful it is of course you can say he would feel ashamed of doing this work but now he had no other choice why he had no other choice 
because he was trapped by his own words it was obvious too that his strength had been undermined by vodka and that he was unhealthy and did not feel the slightest inclination inclinations means likeness for toil toil means hard work now now why he was feeling so because it was he said it was obvious that his strength his, his strength it has been taken about taken out by regular consumption of vodka means wine he is a regular drunkard so this is the reason that why all his strength or all the strength of his body it was stripped away he was no so efficient he was unhealthy and moreover he did not have even slightest will to do this kind of hard work because it needs strength right so sergi hurried him into the dining room sergi then he went into the dining room from its windows one could see the woodshed and everything that went on in the yard standing at the window sergi saw the cook and the beggar come out into the yard by the back door and make their way across the dirty snow to the shed so now sergi he went into his dining room there were large windows and from those windows one can see the woodshed clearly and the yard means the open space he saw that cook has taken the beggar from the back door of the house and then they moved through the snow dirty snow because because of the muddy impressions over the snow made by feet olga glared wrathfully wrathfully means in anger at her companion she looked at this beggar in a wrathful manner means in a angry way shoved him aside shoved means pushed him aside shoved means pushed pushed him aside with her elbow unlock the shed and angrily bang the door means when you are angry you bang the door hurriedly hit it okay so he immediately bang the door so what happened no it means that olga she was not at all happy of the arrival of this you can say new person in the house she knew that this is a kind of man who is not at all ready to do work now so now tell me that why uh, this beggar was not ready to do any kind of work just raise up your hands apart from dia why the beggar was not at all ready to do any kind of work yes raise up your hands please what happened to all yes ashmit why okay ramneet yes beta he was not ready to do the work because he had lost his strength and stamina due to his habit of drinking hmm. he was unhealthy and did not feel the slightest inclination to do any work and moreover he thought it to be a menial work he thought that it is of course uh, below his dignity to do this kind of small job right okay so what were the excuses made by the beggar in order to prove himself right so what were the excuses what how he made various excuses in order to justify his present situation or present condition what excuses he has made raise up your hands please what excuses he has made yes archita in class you are quite active what happened here okay dia give the answer so the beggar uh, excused himself from doing any work but uh, telling sergi that he had been a st uh, student earlier he had been a student who had been expelled and did not have any work to do after that he also uh, in the, uh, in their second meeting the uh, second encounter he told him that he had been a village school teacher and lost his place mm. due to difficult situation mm. uh, when the 
uh, when sergi found out uh, told him the truth that he knew that he was uh, lying he uh, formed another story and told that he had uh, been a part of a russian choir and was sent away for his drunkenness mm -hmm. he was trying to justify his act of begging uh, but was uh, offered work by sergi okay so why do you think that sergi has provided him some work why sergi wanted him to do work yes why sergi wanted him to do work sergi believed that uh, it was a act of shame to beg for uh, money and uh, wanted to help him overcome the difficulty his difficulty uh, and therefore offered him some work yes he wanted to do some good with that person so ultimately he tried to reform the ways of this you can say beggar but ultimately was he able to reform his ways this we are going to reach further okay so next it means that sergi what kind what job yes what job was offered by sergi to the beggar yes what job was offered yes he was offered a job as a wood chopper uh, by sergi as a, to chop the to chop wood okay so and we have come to know that he was not at all happy to chop that wood and the reason also we have read that what is the reason because he thought first of all uh, of being incapable to do this job and moreover he thought it to be a menial job so next afterwards olga has taken him to the wood shed <coughs> now he saw the pseudo teacher pseudo means fake he saw the pseudo teacher seat himself on a log and become lost in thought with his red cheeks resting on his fist fist means when you you can say in this manner when you fold your all the fingers of your hand this comes out to be a fist with which you can punch somebody else also so now what happened olga was standing on one side and this person who is really not at all interested in doing any kind of work he has put his hands in this manner uh, his fist over his hands and he was sat on a log of wood and he was completely lost in his own thoughts the woman flung down an axe at his feet olga was angry she came with an axe and flung it means put it hard onto the ground in front of that man spat angrily she blurted out angrily speaking angrily and judging him from the expression of her lips began to scold him and sergi was standing uh, in the window of the dining room he has judged that she was scolding him the beggar irresolutely pulled a billet of wood okay so again irresolutely means hesitantly okay billet of wood means log of wood billet of wood means log of wood again he hesitantly because he was not ready to do any kind of work so he hesitantly what he did he pulled out log of wood towards him set it up between his feet because he want he is going to uh, hit with an axe that uh, you can say piece of wood so he adjusted that log of wood between his legs so that it could not move and trapped it feebly with the and tapped it feebly with the axe feebly with the axe means weakly and with weakly he has put an axe over it was it the right way to chop a wood no it needs strength so the billet wavered and fell down now the billet what would happen to log of wood it moved and fell down without being cut beggar again pulled it to him blew on his freezing hands and tapped it with axe cautiously as if afraid of hitting his overshoe or of cutting off his finger the stick the stick of wood again fell to the ground so now again see what kind of approach he had in order to cut this log of wood so again what he was doing with his freezing hands he again what he did he again tried to cut that billet of wood so he was blowing 
okay these his freezing hands because he was because they were so freezing that he was not able to you can say uh, put appropriate force with them and he was afraid that this aches would not hit his overshoe or he might not have cut his finger he again put that aches over the wood sergey's anger had vanished and he now began to feel a little sorry and ashamed of himself for having set a spoiled drunken perhaps sick man to work at menial labor in the court now sergey earlier see the change in his thoughts earlier he was angry with this you can say man the beggar but now what happened his anger vanished why does there was change in his you can say feelings for that for that beggar because earlier he thought that he is you can say he is a jobless vendor and who is not doing any work of course he could but now he thought when he has seen the lack of strength in that man so he thought that it is not wise on his part that he has put this strengthless man to work to do this kind of menial job of lower order and of course in that cold weather when his body is not allowing him to do so he feel that he has done a wrong thing an hour later olga came in and announced that the wood had all been chopped so sarji was busy in his work after an hour what happened olga came he told sarji sir all the wood is chopped means sarji thought that he has done all the job good give him half a ruble said sarji sarji said okay good give him half a ruble if he wants to be if he wants to he can come back and cut wood on the first day of each month we can always find work for him now sarji said okay fine now if he is willing tell him to come at uh, you can say on first day of every month and if he will come what we can do what we can do we can give him some work now on the first of the month the waif waif means that beggar that poor man jobless man okay so what is waif it is jobless and homeless man waif is beggar you can say it is used of course for that beggar but it is actually a homeless person so now now that man that beggar out of fear he is coming on the first day of every month and again earned half a ruble so every time he is coming he is getting half a ruble for chopping the wood although he could barely stand on his legs from that day on he often appeared in the yard and every time work was found for him so again every time he is coming he is earning half a ruble and every time he is coming you can say that half a ruble was given to him and moreover whenever he is coming some work was also got ready for him so that he could do now he would shovel snow what is shovel shovel is actually a tool just like a spade just like a spade okay it is used to clear off the snow what it is used it is used to clear off the snow from the path so he would shovel snow so what he is doing he would put aside uh, snow from the passage now put the wood shed in order would arrange the woods in the shed beat the dust out of rugs which you can say beat the dust out of rugs means carpets mats and mattresses and every time he received from 20 to 40 kopecks means sub amount of ruble and even a pair of old trousers were sent out to him so sometime every time he is coming he is earning 20 to 30 kopecks and of course sometimes old clothes were also given to him so 
on that day when he has come on the first day he was not ready to cut even a one you can say log of wood how he was able to cut all that logs of wood can anybody answer how he was able to cut all those logs of wood just think over it what happened on that day right whether he was able to cut all logs of wood and how he was not able to stand even he did not have much strength but how the wood was chopped okay so this is of course a teaser for your mind for the next lecture and it is all for today